when you look at the Earth from space, what really impresses you is the water, how beautiful this planet is. Uh, why does Earth have all this water, and, and how did it get here? The question has puzzled geologists for years. Now, they believe the answer lies in space. New evidence showing how our water arrived on Earth has emerged from a meteorite that fell in 1998, but which has only recently been analyzed. We found an astonishing thing. This meteorite contains grains of table salt, just like you put in your, on your uh, fish and chips. The clue is trapped inside the crystals of salt and revealed under the microscope. Minute droplets of liquid water. On the computer screen, you can see a little fluid inclusion, a little drop of water. And you'll know it's water. We know it's liquid because you see a little bubble moving around inside of this little droplet of water. The amazing thing about this discovery is the age of the water. You can date this by several different dating techniques. The salt itself is four and a half billion years old. The water inside has to be at least that old, if not even older. There's no question about it. And so this water is at least as old as the solar system. Here is visible evidence that water existed in space when the Earth first formed. And Zelensky is convinced that meteorites then brought the water to Earth. And so it's looking more and more like the water arrived drop by drop in, in rocks like this meteorite here, landing over the course of billions of years. You have lots of material coming in every day and, and smacking into the earth and depositing a little bit of water a few drops at a time. The scale of the meteorite bombardment needed to fill the oceans with water is almost impossible to comprehend. But scientists believe that over billions of years, there were easily enough meteorites crashing into the Earth to account for all the water on the planet. Gradually, those rocks are sweating water, building up first shallow seas here and there that grow to be giant oceans. So you go from this to this. Once Earth had land masses and water, the stage was set for the development of life. The next phase in the evolution of the Earth. Life is an essential element in Earth's geology. Without life, sedimentary rocks like chalk and limestone would not exist. Without life, there would be no coal, oil, or gas. Life has shaped the Earth in profound ways. But finding the origin of life has challenged scientists for hundreds of years. Now there's a new explanation. It comes from evidence found at Allende in the desert landscape of northern Mexico. At about 1 a.m. on February 8, 1969, night suddenly turned into day. A large fireball was seen traveling from the south northwards over northern Mexico. And this big flash and this fireball was caused by a really large meteorite. It was probably about the size of a car, and it entered the top of the Earth's atmosphere at about 36,000 miles an hour. As it plunged through the atmosphere, the meteorite broke up into thousands of fragments. There was no crater left by the Allende meteorite, so it fell as a shower of stones, the largest of which was reported to be about the size of a beach ball. The stones are found in, we call it a strewn field, and it's an area about 30 miles by five miles wide, and we're here right in the middle of that strewn field. Because the meteorite fragmented into so many pieces, geologists had to search a huge area to find samples. 
Now I actually have a smaller one of the stones here. You can see it's about the size of a plum. It's one of the most primitive type of meteorites. This means that since it formed, at the very earliest stages of solar system formation, really not much has happened to it. When they analyzed samples from Allende, geologists made a groundbreaking discovery. The meteorite contained tiny amounts of chemicals called amino acids. The amino acids are terribly important constituents of things like proteins, and amino acids really are sort of like the chemical building blocks for life. So to find these amino acids, these molecules, within the meteorite was a really exciting discovery. Every living thing on Earth, plant or animal, contains amino acids, and life could not exist without them. Until they were found in the Allende meteorite, scientists believed that amino acids were first made by chemical reactions on the surface of the Earth. People thought that maybe life had started on Earth in these sorts of warm pools, maybe you know, a few hundred million years after Earth actually formed, or possibly through lightning causing chemical reactions in the early atmosphere. There was a few theories as to how life may have started on Earth prior to the discovery of amino acids in meteorites. Since Allende, amino acids have been found in hundreds of other meteorites. Their discovery has revolutionized ideas about the origin of life on Earth. Scientists now believe that the building blocks of life originally came from space. Meteorites containing amino acids have bombarded Earth ever since the planet formed, and it was these amino acids which were the starting point for all life. Hunting for the origin of Earth's water and life, the investigation has revealed that the water on Earth arrived here inside meteorites. And meteorites also brought amino acids, the building blocks of life, to Earth from space. Scientists now need one more piece of the puzzle to explain the final stage in Earth's journey. From particles in the solar dust cloud to a planet where life itself builds Earth's geological features. Four point five billion years ago, Earth formed out of the solar dust cloud. Two hundred million years later, the first continents and oceans were developing. Meteorites brought water and amino acids, the building blocks of life, to the surface of the planet. The investigation now moves forward to the period 3.5 billion years ago. New forms of life were about to emerge, which by their very existence would create new kinds of rocks. But life as we know it needs oxygen, and three and a half billion years ago, there was no oxygen on Earth. At the time, the atmosphere was deadly poisonous. Volcanic eruptions filled the air with a choking mixture of sulfur, methane, carbon dioxide, and sulfuric acid. But primitive life forms did exist. The fossilized remains of strange coral-like structures have been found in rocks more than three billion years old in many parts of the world. They are called stromatolites, and they are a clue as to how the atmosphere filled with oxygen. Living stromatolites are incredibly rare. One of the few places on Earth where they can be found is in another part of the northern Mexican desert. This is the high valley of Cuatro Cienegas. You might think that this is just any old desert, but it's not. This is a very special place. Because of particular way the chemistry is in this valley, it's unlike any other place on the planet. The pool is like a time capsule laboratory. By examining the modern stromatolites, scientists can work out how they were made more than three billion years ago. What's interesting about Quattro Cienegas is that this is almost like a proxy to right before the world had a lot of oxygen in it. 